Hello, and welcome to Intro to Canvas for Faculty. In this course, we'll be focusing mainly on Canvas as a teaching platform, but this course is also great for anyone who just wants to know what Canvas can do. The best browsers to use with Canvas are Firefox, Chrome, or Safari. Today, I'm using Chrome. As a note, your browser is always the first thing you should check if you are experiencing any trouble. Please read the browser information located in the syllabus and in the Getting Started module for further details. Right now we're on the course homepage and I'm going to take you on a quick tour of our classroom to help get you started. You can choose to navigate the course using the icon-based homepage or the buttons on the vertical toolbar. Both methods will take you to the same places. The vertical toolbar to your left is the course navigation toolbar. These tools will take you to places inside our course. We will not be using or learning about every tool on the toolbar, but I've left them all accessible to you so you can investigate them if you want to. Running horizontally across the top of the page are the global navigation links. These links will take you to places outside of our course, like your courses list and your calendar. Before starting on the course content, please be sure to look for your practice course on your courses list. You'll need your practice course for completing many of your assignments. I'm going to right-click the course link and choose to open it in a new tab. This is a handy trick for flipping back and forth between the course content and your personal building space. Now I just need to click on the tab to view it. Depending on your settings, this is what your practice course will look like when you open it for the first time. Now let's return to our Canvas classroom by clicking on the tab for Intro to Canvas. To get started in the class, please view the orientation video which you are watching now. Then, read the syllabus. The syllabus contains everything you need to know about the class. I will also be posting announcements, so please be sure to check those too. Please also remember to ask questions. You can ask general questions here on the Ask a Question discussion board. If you are wondering about something, you can bet someone else probably is too. I try to answer these within 24 hours, but please feel free to reply to your classmates sooner if you know the answer they need. To contact me directly, you can message me through your inbox. You can also send me a quick message by clicking on the help link and then on the ask your instructor a question option. From the home page, you can click on any icon to go to a specific module. The content modules are labeled with numbers, and as you hover over each icon, the module title will display. The icons will direct you to the beginning of the module you want to view. Alternatively, using the Modules button will take you to a full list of all of the modules. When you are ready to start on the first module, go to the Home page or the Modules page and click on Module 00, which is the Getting Started module. Please note that Module 00 is not set to open to you until the first day of the course. You can shrink or expand the module content by clicking on the arrow next to the module title. The modules are set to open sequentially as you complete them. You must complete and submit any required assignments before the next module will open to you. You will get a check mark on each module as you complete it, and that's how you can tell that you are finished with it. You do not need to wait for your work to be graded in order to move on to the next module. In addition to an opening date, each module also has completion prerequisites. Here you can see that you must complete the Getting Started module before Module 1 will open and become available. And here you can see what a date restriction looks like on a module. Let's go back to the Getting Started module now. The information in the Start module is critical to your success in this course. So it is set that you must view every page in order. The Getting Started module is the only module that requires you to do this. Here you can see the viewed page check mark that you'll get after you view each page. You will also receive check marks after submitting your assignments. Now I'd like to point out a potential content display problem that you may encounter. I've already opened a tab for a problematic page. If any content or pages in the course do not display for you, please click on the light gray shield icon in the URL address bar. The shield icon is on the left side in Firefox and on the right side in Chrome. 
If the shield does not appear, click on the white title link of the blank page instead. This display problem is caused by a browser security setting and is not a Canvas issue. You can find more detailed information about this issue in the syllabus and also in the Getting Started module. Lastly, I'd like to point out a study tool that is embedded in our course. Let's go back to the Getting Started module to look at it. At the end of each content section, you will find an optional study activity for the review of keywords. To use the Quizlet flashcards, simply click the card to view the word and read the definition. Then click the arrow to advance to the next card. To change your study mode, click on the study mode menu and select any of the other activities. OK, that should be enough to get you started. I look forward to meeting all of you very soon. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great class.